all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. No. All right, everyone, I'm the Pokey Tesla, and um, I'm going to be showing you a little bit something different, kind of like what Glitch Cat did, but um, pretty crazy. So, this is something called Kaizo, um, a whole Mario, however you want to put it. Um, I'm going to be showing it off to you guys today, and I hope you really enjoy it. Now, what Kaizo is, it really originated in ROM hacks, but it was really um, blossomed and really grew in Super Mario Maker. Now, Super Mario Maker, the limitations are really endless, even though there's not a lot of items, like, as you can see, this is, these are the only items in the game. However, us Kaizo players have really been able to make some really amazing levels and really uh, new tech and crazy creations to even enhance and inspire people that are making ROM hacks to this day. So today I'm going to be showing off the, uh, the pretty much the basics of Super Mario Maker Kaizo. Uh, as you can see, I built a little course here showing you guys uh, some stuff that you can do. And then I'm going to show you guys some pretty cool levels just to show you of everything that it is um, together. So that's what we're going to be doing today, uh, around 25 minutes. I'm basically going to do this so we can get um, Mitch Flower Power, giving him some time so he can get online. I don't know how long he's going to be, but uh, we'll see. I guess we'll go until... Um, he comes back online, and if anything, we can uh, see if Princess Proto is good to, to do a 20 minute run. So we'll see about that. So guys, I'm going to start off today, right here, and um, now you see this shell, and you see this platform, right? And it's like, oh, maybe, it, maybe I can get up there, right? And if you see this in a level, you're like, what do I do, right? What do I do? You see this shell, you see this wall, you can't jump up there, that's for sure. And you're trying to jump up, you can't do it, so what do you do? Well, one of the basic, most basic tricks in Kaizo is called the shell jump. So basically, stand far enough from a wall, and then you jump, and you release the shell. However, still, you know, um, jumping at a certain distance, or when you hit the shell against the wall, it will bounce back and land under Mario, which will cause Mario to propel her even higher. Like so. So that's the, one of the most basic tricks in Mario Maker. Uh, it's called a shell jump. Everyone, if you know Kaizo, you know what a shell jump is. So, um, that's basically that. And also there's other variants, however, you could do like a spinning midair like this. Not a spinning midair, a... You could basically do like a, um... Let me just try and get it for you guys. I got this all in practice. And by practice, I mean practicing three minutes before this run. There it is. So you got stuff like that. And then as you can see, whoa, how do I get to this platform, right? How do I get to this platform? So you don't know how to get there, right? Now you may think hopping on the uh, trampoline will help. Absolutely not. Not gonna work. So you do something after watching Carl's stream. Listen! Alright, I'm doing this to fill up time. I'm trying to show off the Kaizo community. Bring some diversity. Cut me some slack here. So, as you can see, um, oh yeah, I'm the Poke Tesla. Uh, I don't know, the owner of this event kind of just like asked me to do something real quick. Uh, me. So, um, yeah. So you may be wondering how to get to this platform. Well, what we do something is we drop the, the, um, the trampoline under our feet, just low enough and jumping low enough to, to where the Mario will bounce on it. It's like just low enough to where Mario can bounce on it in midair, like this. I'm really good at sh uh, spring jumps, but they are a pretty difficult trick to learn. Now, however, we have another variant here with a P, with a P switch. Obviously, you just can't jump on it. Covers lots of um, big space there, where you normally wouldn't be able to do this any other way if there was something like that. Now we have some variants of some shell jumps uh, after I die. <laughs> so we have some variants of a shell jump here. What we can do is we can do um, we can drop the shell but hit it left. So check this out. So that's a really cool uh, variant of the shell jump. And then also we could do an early shell jump where we release the shell much earlier, but we still hold on to our sprint button so we can bounce on it. Like that. Now I'm just going to show you some cool ways to get into doors. Like this. So normally, how would, how would you get in the store, right? Wow. Good job. Well, you can actually do basically what you do with some shells. Okay, nice job. There it is. So basically, you just drop the POW switch, um, the POW, to let you, uh, make it a platform to get into a door. So that's some really cool stuff. 
Um, really nothing else. I mean, there's so many tricks. Like, there's a million tricks in this game. But I just really don't know what to make for you guys. So I'm going to show you guys some levels. And, um... For sure. Um, yeah, I can go more in depth if you guys want to know on some of these tricks. But, like, just for the shell jumps, I'll just show you a quick level to show you what it actually can be in. So, this is like shell jumps basically in, in a level, right? So that's what it could be. Okay, I was not expecting to one try that. Okay, I thought that was gonna take me like five minutes. Okay, that just I just nailed that first try. So that's what basically shell jumps can be. That was made by me. Um, so basically, that's just a ba very basic shell jump level. Uh, I was not expecting to beat that at all. So I'm very hyped about that. So as you can see, Kaizo, it's very known about. Um, low clear rate. So this is a .67 clear rate. However, the only reason is that is this because this one player named Cameron, he beat my level 26 times to try and get world record. So that's, so basically it's really, um, trying to screw up my uh, clear rate to make it really bad. However, before this, it was a .07. Now this is a really cool trick. It's called a pixel jump, and I made this little, uh, tech called spring shoes. Only work, it can work in any style. Look at that. So, Normally, you wouldn't be able to, like, look, if you just wall jumped, there's no way you're making that. However, there's a pixel jump you can get at the start of every single game when you're, um, declining from midair. Look at that. Just easy. It's, a, like, basically a pixel where you're able to jump at right at the start of a level and get that trick. So I'm going to show you some more tricks that you can do. Um, I'm going to show you, I just want to show you guys in all different types of styles. This one's called What the Shell. I'm just showing you some of my levels. I'm the Pokey Tesla, by the way. I'm the host of this event. If you want to follow me, um, I put a lot of work into this event. So it would, it would mean a lot if you would uh, show me some support as well. Uh, but yeah, that's just me being a sellout. Anyways. So there's some really cool tricks at SMB1, as you can see. Since you can't pick up objects in SMB1, that does not mean you can't do shell jumps. So just by using kicking, there is some really awesome, awesome, really, really awesome tricks. So I'm just, um, just kind of going through it. Um, oh, also something I really want to show you guys. Um, let me show you something quick with Yoshi's, and then I want to talk to you guys about the Kaizo blind races that we do every single week. Now, the Kaizo community is much bigger than you think. Uh, people like Carl Sagan, which I think most Mario Maker people know, is, um, very influenced by Kaizo. He basically just does Ka he just does Kaizo on streams, so, and he gets 2,000 viewers a stream, so... He's definitely getting exposure. So there's some really cool- I, I, I may uh, skip this because I just want to blast through this. I don't want to sit here doing five minutes of attempts. Uh, I bounced on it, but you, you got it. So um, I'm going to show you about the blind races. So every Friday and Saturday, we do a Blizo kind, uh, kind race. A Blizo, uh, bl Oh my god. A blind Kaizo race, and Kaizo, like I was talking about, basically on Saturday we do an easy Kaizo race, basically for people that are trying to get into Kaizo. Guys, be sure to join the Mario Maker Kaizo Discord. I'll post a link right now if you guys are interested in Kaizo. So you can join that. We send the codes out on Saturday at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every single week. We have tested levels for beginners. There's basically only one Kaizo trick, and there's two checkpoints in every single level. And on Friday, we have the harder Kaiser race, so if you feel like you're really experienced and you're really good, then you, um, you can try the, uh, the Friday race, which is a much harder version of basically a Saturday race. I have 600 hours into this game, so the Friday races are basically, I, I, can, I can handle myself. 
However, the Saturday races are great for beginners. Now, this is the level that I made, and if you guys want to make a level, be sure to sign up for um, the, Ki the Kaiser race, because this level really got my levels lots of exposure. Because after this level, I got 50,000 plays on this level. And now all of my other levels get around, you know, lots of stars and lots of plays and lots of people are interested. And on top of that, if you if they like the level that you made, they will definitely check you out as a creator and maybe even a streamer if you broadcast. And on top of that, if you make a new level or clear a new level in that Discord, you could also put um, your clear video or your um, level upload of your bookmark link in their chat and there's two, over 200, over 300 people that can check out your level and play it and see it and know who you are and know what you're about. So lots of exposure, we're very tight, we all know each other. Um, definitely some streamers you should check out are Grand Pooh Bear, he does a lot of Kaizo and ROM hacks, he actually raced to Dram World with us earlier. And on top of that we have, you know, people like Carl Sagan, you guys all know him in the Mario Maker community. Um, me, myself, definitely be sure to um, check me out if you like Kaiza, I do a lot of that. Just one thing, if someone's asking for viewer levels, do not submit your Kaiza level, because an average player does not uh, fare well with that. <laughs> so I'm just going to do a few more attempts, and then I'm going to move on to um, some the last few tricks, and then, um, yeah. And on top of that, I'll show you a little bit of a speedrunning platform that you can do on this uh, in this game. I'll show you some speedrun levels of Kaizo and just um, normal. So if you guys are interested, be sure Mario Maker is around fifty or sixty dollars, I believe. Um, it is definitely it's the reason I bought a Wii U. It's definitely a fun level. I'm uh, not a fun level. It's a really fun game. Um, I I play it. Uh, I play it. You know, every other day, I'd say. No, Mitch responded to me. He's lurking right now. Uh, I'm going to show you a really cool SMB3 tech uh, right now. It's not really Kaizo, but it's just really neat tech that you could possibly even... Um, there's millions of things you can do in this game, guys. There's hundreds and hundreds of stuff. Um, hundreds and hundreds of tricks. And you know what? Making levels is great, too. Um, people love watching you make levels and playing them, and you can submit them. So, you definitely just playing levels gives you ideas for other levels. So the point, the concept of this level is basically, as you can see, there's blocks you need to hit with your tail, but if you go through this saw blade, you lose your tail. So you have to basically drag this leaf all the way to the other side, so you can damage boost and but grab another leaf. So I think I'm about to, I think I got it right here. I got the setup. No, I didn't. So basically, I would damage boost. The leaf would be spun up here. I would grab it and do that. So I'm just gonna show you a few other. Um, a few other levels, and then I'll do that. Uh, here's a pretty neat level. No, not this one. For NSNBU. If you like uh, a traditional ROM hack style, we got that. Definitely check out the level creator, Barbarian. He makes lots of ROM hack styled Kaizo levels. So as you can see right here. Uh, look at these. Three layers of munchers. One block to get through. This is very... Very traditional ROM hack style. Also on Friday, we have puzzle races. If you like... Yes, there are puzzles in Mario Maker. I am bad at them, but they are lots of fun. So, you probably didn't think I can get through four layers of munchers with a one block radius, but you can. Uh, I'm definitely not going to get this first try, but these are very, like, one pix- uh, very pixel demanding things. Yeah, so you basically have to wall jump on those one blocks, and, uh, very, uh, very tight things, very tight. Uh, five fives in here. Uh, it's very tight. <laughs> and, um, there's a few more things that I'll show you guys. Oh, here's a cool level. Quick tricks. Um... And eh, it's not really worth showing. I'm just going through here. Um, trapeze, cross country. Oh, uh, cross country is, is a like an auto scroller, but they're very fun. I'll show off this one because I showed you guys the early shell jump. So um, these are kind of like tutorial levels. Um, I'll show you guys some of Ka uh, Carl's Kaizo College levels. You should definitely check those out if you're interested in learning the tricks because they're very beginner friendly. They're very um, they're not punishing if you die or don't get the trick. You get lots of power-ups, you get lots of, um, they're very well designed to where- why am I failing this? There it is. So, as you can see, I'm just releasing the shell very, very early. I'm gonna show you some of Carl's Kaizo, um, college levels just to finish up this little expo that I did. Uh, I can go forever, I stream three hours a day of this. So, um, I'll show you Carl's Kaizo college levels. 
as you can see right here, I follow a bunch of Kaizo players. Ninjax in the chat right now, he makes horrible levels, don't play them. Uh, Barbarian, he makes lots of the um, ROM hack, um, very Kaizo influ uh, ROM hack influenced levels. Evil Way is great creator, Jaku troll levels. Uh, Go Sagan, genius creator, very advanced Kaizo though, if you're a beginner, I wouldn't suggest this. Uh, Valvio speedrun levels, Val, one of the hardest level, uh, level creators in the world. Carl Sa the Beast, definitely check out his streams. Now we got people like Link Dead, Grand Pooh Bear, Mitch Flower Power, he doesn't play Mario Maker much anymore. Panga, um, this is the most popular, I'd say. Uh, I named the solo guy, by the way. <laughs> Yoshi, what up? I named that. Um, he's one of the most famous, I'd say, for Kaizo levels, but they're very advanced. He definitely tries past the Panga levels, though, those are pretty beginner friendly. They're still very hard, though. So I'm just gonna show you guys some. Like, he makes all different, like, Kaizo Colors just wing it. You can tell that's for capes. Um, peel, you can pee, press P to jump. Shell we jump. So I'll just show you this quick Kaizo College. So let's say you wanted to learn shell jumps. So you're like, hey, that Sheldon Plankton level that you one shot, it looks really cool. I want to do that one day. Well, you could try Kaizo, um, definitely Carl's Kaizo College level. So right here, look. Gives you coins, gives you everything. Now, you can get killed by those munchers, but it's still very easy. Because you know what you can do? You could put, I think you could put on a, yeah, see? You could put on a helmet. And it drops another shell, so even if you, like, let's say you miss it, you know what, you don't get hurt because you have a you have a helmet on. So, like, you do that, you have the coin trails. I'm just failing because I suck at this game, but, you know, that's a given. Um, so you basically do that. You know, very beginner friendly. Right here, just bounce on the shell. Just giving you that. Right here, tells you, note block, this is where you have to throw it. So you're like, alright. I'll throw it, but guess what? You know what? You know what's good? Like that. Very, very nice level. And you know what? You can just keep playing this over and over again, and you'll eventually start getting better and better at shell jumps. And then you can move on to maybe a beginner shell jump level, and you can just progress yourself uh, into harder and harder levels. So that's really a great thing. And I'll show you one more of his levels just to conclude this little expo, and then we're gonna hand it off to Mitch Flower Power to finish off this run. Uh, I'm the Poke Tesla. If you were wondering, I am 14 years old. I'm the I'm the host of all this event, uh, if that means anything. So, uh, yeah, d if you like Kaizo like this, if you like just Mario Maker, I speedrun Crash Bandicoot 3. Um, yeah, so Spring Break. Let's say you want to do sp uh, Spring Jumps as well. You can definitely play Kaizo Kaizo College levels. Just go through a series. Also, big shout out to Makers of Mario.com, guys. Uh, be sure to check it out. It's better than Mario Maker Bookmark. Definitely check it out if you like it. So, right here, spin jump. You can't normally do that. Now it teaches you to look up and throw the shell to do cool stuff like that and get rid of all that cause a chain reaction. Just jump up here. And then it tells you, alright, so now I have to do the trick. So, basically, what you want to do is let me just try and think of what I'm. When I jump in the air, I click down on the analog stick and I let go. Of Y and I let go of Y just far enough to where it lands below me like this But you don't want to release it too much. You kind of I, I release like both of these six I release Y and B at the at the like the right distance and you get you get something like that So very nice um, That basically concludes my expo um, to finish it off. I'm going to show you a like what how crazy Kaizo can get um, I'll show you Val's airspace. Actually, no, I'm gonna show you time for a tea break, because that's a really... Um, actually, I'm gonna show you Momentum... Momentum Mori. That's a good level to show how crazy Kaizo can get. Um, I'm just gonna give you guys a little screen capture just to show you, um... Uh, do Subregion, let me just... I think Momentum Mori will show you a great, uh, give you a great idea of how crazy Kaizo can get and how good you can get because you know what? You can do this, guys, with lots of practice. So well, just check out this level. This is definitely not my skill yet. So this is what Kaizo can be if you just keep practicing and keep doing it. Um, this is a very hard level, one of the like top 10 artist levels in the game. Uh, this is still, like, by some people, look at that, you have to shell jump and land it to where it lands on the next spring. Spring jump, as you can see, spinning on bombs on sp certain spikes. Um, bomb ladder, that's what it's called. Uh, throw a spring jump, jump off a P, 
and then avoiding these fireballs right here um, while the peace torch timer goes off. So that's a really cool level. So, um, hope you guys enjoyed this Kaizo Expo. Uh, hope you enjoyed this event. We're not done yet. We're gonna bring on Mitch Flower Power. But I thought I'd just, like, show you guys a little bit of who I am, a little bit of what I do. Um, yeah, so I'm the host of this event, so. Uh, I just wanted to get a little segment in myself, and since I don't speed around any Mario games yet, I just wanted to show off a little Kaizo Expo, just to get you guys into the community. See if you really like, if you, uh, thought Mario Maker was getting boring, you want something harder, you want something more difficult. You're saying there's not enough traditional levels, what do I do? Kaizo, that's not, like, um, that doesn't make dick moves. Basically just like, nice, awesome Kaizo, really cool tricks. And once you get it, it's really impressive and you're really proud of yourself. Uh, definitely check it out. We're going to pass it on to Mitch Flower Power, who's going to be running Super Mario Bros. 3 as our closer. Um, he's, like, you know, guys, all we've been waiting for this run. So I'm excited for it, guys. Be sure to um, get your, if you want to donate, this is our last run. And you guys also... Born in a lot of generous donations, so he'll be doing an any, any percent run after. He normally wouldn't have done that, but you guys donated enough to where he will be. So I'm going to hand it off to him. I'm going to give him the hitbox, and he's going to go live on that. We're going to get Mitch all set up. So, guys, get some hype in the chat. Hope you enjoy this Kaizo Expo. I'm the Pokey Tesla, and let's get this final run in, yeah? All right, guys. See you in a few.